Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sahar. Today we're going to be talking about the new e.l.f. brow laminating gel. So we know that e.l.f. came out with the brow lift, which is kind of like a dupe or actually a dupe for the Anastasia brow freeze. And I never really got onto that bandwagon because it's a pot that you need an extra spoolie for and then you have to rub it in and then put it on your brow. So I didn't want that extra spoolie, which I know I'm just going to lose. So they answered our prayers. They made a three-in-one brow lift product that is a laminating gel and I've been trying it for the past couple of days just to see how I like it. First of all, it's white. I don't know why it's white. The brow lift was a clear gel so even if you put it on your brows, you won't see it. This one though, there is some white residue that doesn't really go away right away. So what I do is I use the spoolie side, place the product on, and if there's a bit of white gel in there, I use the other side to just brush it or comb it out while shaping. So they only have the one color. I'm pretty sure if this sells really well, they're gonna come out with other colored versions, which to be honest, I'm hoping for. I would prefer a colored version on top of this. So in my review, I decided to put it on after my other brow products. I usually use some brow pens or some micro brows just to fill in my brows and then I brush it with the e.l.f. brow laminating gel and shape it with the comb and brush feature on the other side which I think is my favorite bit. I love how it is just a three-in-one product. I wore this throughout the day. I did go to the gym at one point, but usually I just wear this to work. And since it is summer, it is pretty hot. So you can tell my brows don't actually look exactly the same, but you can tell that the brow laminating gel does work. My brow still stayed in place. Even on the other side that was not completely upwards, it still stayed where I had put them originally, as you can see in the side-by-side -side video. I do really love this side because I'm able to brush my hairs and place them where I want them exactly, which is not really something other brow products have. And that makes this like something I will definitely always keep in my drawer. It is 1.10 in the afternoon. I will be checking back at 1.10 in the morning. I will be having a chill summer day. It is Canada day and I'll just be going out and about. And yeah. Now one thing that is notable about this is it doesn't make your brows crispy. Do you know that feeling of some other brow products that make your hairs really, really hard, almost like hairspray. And when you feel it, it's like really crispy. This one does not do that but I don't feel like it totally dries down. Like throughout the day, I would still feel a little bit, just a little bit of that wax. Something I'm not really mad about, but at the same time, it is something that I wish dried down completely. If this empties out, I will keep this just for the side. But if they do come out with a colored version, I will probably pick it up. I honestly wish the NYX Brow Glue would package their product the way e.l.f. did. Because it is amazing how much this side really helps me and how much I use it. Spoolies are great, but this really helps you place your hairs where you want them to be. I just love that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful in any way. I'm curious, will you be picking this up or will you not? Comment down below. Please like this video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you would like to see more videos from me, hit that notification bell to be informed. Also, if you would like to support me further, hit Hit that video here and here and here and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!